our body one external organ hello students our body is composed of organs that are part of different body systems that allow the human body to work external organs are the organs which will support to any purpose and to do any work they can be seen with the naked eyes externally without using any instrument external organs like skin cover the entire body and protect from damage to temperatures infections etc in this lesson you will learn about our external organs unit 1 our body 1 external organs we have many parts in our body they are called organs each organ helps us to do a particular function some organs appear externally they are called external organs observe the following picture external organs are broadly divided into three parts they are one head two trunk three arms and legs head our head has eyes nose ears mouth and hair different portion of our head is called face eyes eyes help us to see nose nose helps us to breathe and to smell ears ears help us to hear the sounds mouth upper lip teeth tongue lower lip mouth helps us to speak and to eat we have a tongue and teeth in our mouth tongue helps us to know the taste teeth help us to chew the food hair the strands on our head are collectively called hair skin the upper layer of our body is called skin the skin protects our body we feel sensation with the help of our skin sense organs we have five sense organs they are eyes ears nose tongue and skin neck the part which connects our head and trunk is called neck two trunk the part below the neck except legs and arms is called trunk the upper and heart portion of the trunk is called chest the lower and smooth portion of the trunk is called abdomen the rare portion of the trunk is called back 3 arms and legs arms we have arms on either side of our trunk arms help us to work legs they are under the trunk legs help us to walk and run fingers and toes middle finger ring finger index finger little finger thumb palm wrist nails toes we have five fingers to each hand and five toes to each foot the sharp edged parts of fingers and toes are called nails do these one fill in the blanks with suitable answers conceptual understanding
2. Fill in the blanks. Conceptual understanding. Answer the following questions in a word or a phrase. Conceptual understanding. Four. Answer the following questions. Conceptual understanding. Five. Choose the number and write near the picture. Communication. Communication. 